Alternatively, I don't get that option. Oh! Oh, Smeg! Um... <laughs> oh, what am I in for? The Blade's chosen hero, in the name of the goddess Helia, I offer the trial of the... You presently lack the power necessary to wield the true splendor of the Master Sword. You must fortify your mind, body, and soul by eradicating all obstacles that appear in this realm. In this illusionary realm of sacred mystery, anything can happen. And it... All that you can obtain here will be lost upon your return to the reality you know. Chosen hero of the Master Sword, overcome the trial of the sword and claim the blade's true splendor. Oh goody. Right, I see the goblins over there. And as we learned from the very start of the game, trying to fight the Bacoblins without any actual weapons is a really stupid idea. However, there are several weapons all... No, no, no. Several weapons dotted around. From what I can see, at least. Ow! Okay! Oh, that's not good. I lost most of my health on that one, but hey, we managed to kill them? Oh. Uh. Oh, yeah. This is going to be a fun time for everyone involved. Or at least for me. We've got a bunch of weapons. Meat. Like, okay, cool. Um. Right, let's set fire to these... Oh, wait a minute. Um... No, bad idea. Really bad idea. Let's not do that. Let's just blow them up instead, because at least then I can kind of recover what I've got from them. A few bananas, really? Oh, okay, right. Huh. Not missed anything, I don't think. So cool. Cory Forest still. Right, so we've lost most of our hearts. Fine. So, how many trials do we have to get through? Ah. Oh. Oh, 
any weapons, and I can't see any way up there apart from that drawbridge. So, let's try a different strategy. He's got a Boko Club. That's going to be quite nice. They're all black, the goblins. Right, if he turns around... Oh, there's another one! Oh, charming! We're we going to do this, then. Um... I'm kind of hoping that they're on, like, a, a path. And if I wait long enough... They'll eventually turn around. Go back to where they started, and then we can... Try and stealth? Right now... What weapons do we have? Now... And badly... Now. Ah, crumbs. Oh, right. They've got bows and arrows now. Um. Hey, I'll okay. this then. Oh, cool. Right. Yeah, I have no health now. And I'm dead. <laughs> oh, Gordon Bennett. Oh, right. That counts as a death. Uh, okay. Sure. Increase. 99. Uh-huh. Right. Right, let's try this again. And if all else fails, we can always go away and come back when we've got more hearts and a lot better food. Right. Oh, this is going to be fun. I suppose one thing we can try and do is distract them with a bomb. And maybe leave their field of view. Oh, 
Oh, that was smart. Ow. Ow. Oh. Just lure them into the fire. Oh, that spear! Right, I might ask the oracle on this one. Um, <laughs> oh, oh, right. Um, game over as well. So, yeah, that's now 100 deaths. We've done it, chat. We've got to 100 deaths. Right. Breath of the Wild. Isle of the Sword. Master mode. <laughs> Uh -huh. first challenge in the game, but you can beat it with this guide. Marvelous. Unlike uh, like other Zelda challenges, it involves a gauntlet of surviving multiple enemy filled levels. The trail of the sword walkthrough will guide you for each of the levels, including what to expect, the items you can salvage, and how to survive until the end. There are three rounds, one costing, co uh, consisting of 12 beginning trials, 16 middle trials, and 23 final trials. You can only save after completing each round. If you die halfway through a round, you start at the beginning with nothing. Detailed walkthroughs for how to survive each are below. Okay, important tips before you get... You can refill your hearts using a meal or a night's rest of the inn or potion to overfill your hearts. Heart meter to the max yellow heart. Give yourself an advantage by consuming your most powerful defense or attack, a uh, attack up a potion or meal right before the start of the trial. Save right before you enter the trial in case you fail. You will not be able to save once you start. Once you're in the trial, remember to take out the most dangerous enemies, i.e. ranged enemies first before going after the rest. Use your weapons wisely. The woodcutter's axe is perfect for destroying crates and barrels, but not effective against regular combat. Switch to it to create destruction. Bombs, bombs, bombs. They can take out platforms and let you get treasure chests by dropping a bomb into an updraft to safely damage enemies away by rolling and tossing the bombs. Drop them behind you when running away. Enemies, remember to mark treasure chests with your sensor in the Hyrule Compendium so you can eat find them. Okay. Um. Okay, so the trees have eggs. Grab the weapons, use the axe to open the boxes. Yeah. Ah, oh, this is entertaining, isn't it? Okay, and by entertaining, I mean... Ah, oh, crumbs. I didn't think about what I just did! Oh, no. Right. Oh, that was a stupid idea. So much for overfilling my hearts, then. No, we're just doing it live, apparently. Oh, Gordon Bennett. Right. Fine. Okay.
problem is, though, that they have so much health. I mean, it's easy to take them down if I can get them to burn, but to do that, I'm going to need fire. Oops. Oh, wow, that went well. Try this a different way. <clears throat> hey, oi. Right. Um. Oh. If I'm if I, if I'm reading this right, I'm being an absolute dingus as per usual, and just trying to speed run it. So instead, let's do this a different way. First, let us get one of our mighty multi heart meals. That works. <sighs> Four minutes. In, uh, three. Two for three minutes. I really need to get some better uh, strength up stuff. Fine. That goes. Right. Save game. So we have 20 hearts. We have our full contingent of hearts. Now, we run around like a lunatic. Game loads. Oh! Oh, that's fun! <laughs> I don't think I've ever had this game crash on me before. Huh. Well, there we go then. That's something new. Okay, clearly the game thought I was cheating. Um, let's try again. Either that or our setup was too extreme for the game to handle. Or maybe me trying to skip that cutscene at that time was a bad idea. Either way. Well, actually, it shouldn't have been a bad idea, but... The more I play this, the more I realise how... ...ifly optimised it can be in places. Or either that, or it's just more... So it's... Too overpowered for the Switch's hardware. Tail Spud, welcome. There we go. That loaded in. Okay. That new thing. Okay, yeah, this is much easier. Oh. 
and that just blew myself. Oh, that's bad. Oh. Right, running through fire, also not a good idea. Okay, yeah, we, this seems slightly more doable now, in theory. Oh, ah, apart from I'm an idiot and I keep doing that. Oh, yeah. Okay, lessons kind of learned. 100 depths. We're in triple digits, folks. Yes, yes, we are. Right, let's get everything available in this area now. Right, we found these bird's eggs before. I think the halberd would be my weapon of choice had I lived through medieval Europe. Mm, fair enough. I would have probably just been a blacksmith and made the things. Right, we don't need firewood. So we won't bother with that, but we have got a woodcutter's axe. So, cool. Next, we need to find various bits and pieces. There we go. Sword. You seem like a, fra a flail kind of guy. Yeah, fair enough. Okay, axe is good for getting into the barrels and stuff, so that's fine. I think that's all of the weapons. Apart from a couple of tree branches. Okay. So, next trial. Okay, right. <laughs> this will be fun. Oops. Uh, right, so, and there's my back bonus turned off. Fine. Ooh, no, you don't. So, best way to do this. Try a different strategy. Oops. Oh, crumbs. Oh, 
Oh yeah, arrows. Yeah, I might want to kill them quickly. Um. Okay. Ow. Excuse me. Bye. Oh, right. I'm taking a bow. Oh, he's dead. Okay. Cool. He's dead. <laughs> and we're running out of power. Okay. Um... Didn't burn him to death. No, of course not. That'd be too easy. Okay. Yep. It's hardly a zero hits run, but still. <laughs> the power of the explosives. Right, now we need to find all the weapons. Ugh. Oh no, that's not what I wanted. Palm fruit. Oh. Hello. Wait, what? Oh, Gordon Bennett. <laughs> ah, Wildberry. Uh, I, uh, uh, Spud, cheering with a thousand bits. Uh, 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 I, uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, cheers, Spud. You know what? For that. <laughs> cheers to you, Spud Solutions. I have no idea why you've suddenly cheered me a thousand bits, but thank you very much. Much appreciated, sir. Uh, right, before we go into that, this is to make sure we find all of the weapons. Every weapon. Every weapon. Um, I mean, I killed a bunch of the blighters, so I'm guessing there's going to be stuff. Though I may have also picked it all up in the first... Oh, in, in the instance, just to make sure that, you know, they couldn't use it. Oh, I'm not entirely certain I deserve it, but it's much appreciated all the same. Oh, yeah, I should have my... um. Thing set. Treasure chest. There we go. Make sure we don't miss any treasure chests. Blimey. <laughs> you know what? I think this is doable. But it's going to be very painful if I die. Um, I hate gauntlets. I, I absolutely hate gauntlets with a passion. Don't get me wrong, the challenge is... Uh, I can understand the challenge and the appeal, but it's just... Uh, you go through all of that and then you lose so much time if you screw up. I kind of feel gypped considering this is a challenge for the Master Sword, which is legend legendary Blink's Bleeding Sword.
Right. Wait, what's happened to me? Ah, there's my axe. And arrows. How many arrows have I got now? 25. Okay. That's... And a bow. And all the weapons. Yes. Okay. Looks like it. Cool. Maybe one more check with stasis. <laughs> just just one more check to make sure that I've not missed anything important. Like health items, etc, etc. Bees. Land of the bees. I've been up this tree yet. Or that tree. So that we've not lost, missed any bird eggs, etc, etc. So we think there's going to be a cooking pot somewhere here. Or am I just going to have to eat the raw stuff? Okay. Do it. Challenge three. Chest up there. Okay. The solitary climb? Yep. The dead slime now. Oh, hello. Um Okay. Oh, can I just lure them over here to get me up to that thing? Up to the where's the treasure chest? Or a treasure chest and it's gone. Um Okay, I can't set that on fire. That's annoying. Ah, thank you. That works. Boom. What are you? Piece of armor? Oh, fire arrows. Okay. Another chest over there. That works. And we can blow these dudes up. Pull that dude up. And then there's one more over yonder. Yep. Uh, hello? Where did you come from? Oh. Uh, that was a dumb idea. Thankfully, low health. Ah, oh, right, um, hmm. This is literally just me running around blowing up. The Master Trials is basically just blowing everything up with the bombs, isn't it? I mean, I'm quite glad I've learned this trick, but still. <laughs> oh, 
cost me two normal arrows, but I managed to keep all five fire arrows, so I suppose that kind of works. Um... There it is. Boomerang. I mean, it's a weapon, I suppose. Right, quick check for bird eggs, etc, etc. Um... I got in terms of actual edible food, a bit of meat. I'll keep it for an emergency. I think I've got enough hearts. It does. Right, the next trial. Oh, this looks fun. Huh. Oh, he's got a spiked one. Okay, cool. Ah, and they've got archers. Okay. Right. Oh, 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 that was really dumb. Dudes seem to have a little more worry about them. And I'm dead. Oh, oh. 